वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम बैक उ डिफारेंट भिडियो लास्ट टाइम आई शोड यू हाउ टू इन्स्टल डैश कैम उथ ओ बी डी टाइप हार्डवेर कनेक्टर्स बस टूडे आई उल शो यू हाउ टू इन्स्टल अ फ्यू स्टेप कनेक्टर दिज आर कल्ड फ्यू स्टेप कनेक्टर्स एंड द कारेक्ट मेथड हाउ टू इन्स्टल देम because nobody tells you what is the correct method of installing this particular few step connectors this few step connectors may be required to hardware a dashcam it may be required to run an accessory or it may be required to connect another power socket so uses are various also all dashcam do not have the facility of connecting with obd type connectors so you need these connectors to do that आज हम दिखाएंगे आपको कैसे ये फ्यू स्टेप कनेक्टर के साथ डैश कैम को कनेक्ट करते हैं ये फ्यू स्टेप कनेक्टर को लगाने का सही तरीका और कैसे लगाना चाहिए और ये चीज़ सिर्फ डैश कैम नहीं आप दूसरा एक्सेसरी या पावर सॉकेट और कोई भी दूसरा किसी कनेक्शन के लिए इसको यूज़ कर सकते हैं तो चलिए दिखाते हैं कैसे करना चाहिए You see in Tata Altros, this is the uh, cabin fuse connection diagram. Uh, for other cars, it may be dif different. Here the connection will be in F3 fuse, which is the accessory direct 12 volt connection, and this is the F3 connector that is for the power sockets. So I will be using this part two particular few steps to run my accessory. Now, if I don't need a 24 hours monitoring, I can omit this F3. Then I will just connect with the F13 socket, and it is written that F3 is accessory's battery connection. And for the F13, it is the power socket. So these are the safely you can use for accessory now there is also another connector power socket 2 since mine is an xt model this particular power socket is empty we'll check with the help of a multimeter if this socket is working or not if it works then we can also take it from this particular connection Here also there is a diagram also in the F3 that is the that is the third fuse on the top okay and another one is F13 that is the second row that is the second row third one so it will be this one because acha before attaching i will check whether there is any connection in this particular socket or not for this i will be using a multimeter ground connection no there is no connection here now let me check this one so i am getting 12 volts over here you see i am getting 12 volts over there but if i touch this empty one if i touch this empty one i am not getting any connection so this particular connection has been kept blank so i am not getting any connection here so i need to tap it from uh, fuse number 13 and fuse number 3 
so let me open that also so i have opened both the fuses now the connection part comes now let me tell you one thing while you are attaching this particular few step connectors one thing you need to remember your power connection will travel from this way to the accessory connection you should not connect it like this otherwise the fuse will not work in this connection so this will be your the positive connector where you are getting 12 volt so why this is important because if there is any short circuit agar koi short circuit ho jaye aapka line mein tab aapka fuse pop up ho jayega aur agar aap aise laga denge to aapka power direct here se yaha tak travel karega aur fuse ko kaam nahi karega so keep in mind always the power should travel from this point to the accessory line and from this line to the particular accessory that has been supplied through your car so this is the perfect orientation so let me attach the fuses here one thing you have to remember you should check which connection is for which one for that you should refer to your uh, owner's manual for the accessory that you are connecting in my case dashcam company has sent me in whatsapp that which wire will go to the which connector so i am showing it to that you see this is the red wire and yellow wire and this is the red wire and they have mentioned it red wire will go to f3 connection and the yellow to the f13 so the yellow will go to the f13 and the red wire will go to the f3 connection so let us do it first now let me check whether it it is fitting perfectly or not okay so it's working connect all the wires first <laughs> now in this position you also need to secure a ground connection let me see where from i can take the ground uh, i'll be requiring a ground connection uh, okay there is a screw here let me open it this is for your additional safety so that there are no loose connections or it doesn't touches any metal from there so these are ready now let me first open the uh, art, art thing connection uh, uh, where will go to f3 and yellow to f13 okay red wire to f3 
so all this has been connected now i will hardware the dash cam to will check from outside so you see it has been connected start recording so it has been connected successfully now i will reroute the wires i am not showing you how to reroute it because i have already shown you in several dash cam videos so let me switch off and install everything So you see I have nicely tucked it over here so it doesn't make any rattling sound while the car moves. If you don't need uh, parking monitoring you can remove this connector also. So you don't require this connector and if you need a parking monitoring you need to install it otherwise from this 13 will do the job. Now let us fix, let us check whether the dash cam is working or not. You see the dash cam is working. Start recording. Okay. So it has been successfully installed. So let us fix it. So I have fixed it. So this is the right procedure to install a few step connector for <coughs> connecting your accessory or a dash cam whatever may be the case and I hope I have been able to explain to you the perfect example and if you have liked the video and if you think the video useful please give a thumbs up. If you like this video, please subscribe. Karna. क्योंकि ये वीडियो बनाने में कोई कंपनी का कोई एंडोर्समेंट और प्रमोशन नहीं है। I am doing it just for giving my knowledge to you. So thank you very much and goodbye. Please do subscribe.